Welcome everybody, we are starting into our ESO housing hike. This is showcasing creative player houses in The Elder Scrolls Online. And I'm J. Hart Ellis, I will be your tour guide as we visit a bunch of homes right now on the PC EU server. This is something I stream live each week at twitch.tv slash jhartellis, you're welcome to join during the live stream. Or if you're watching on the YouTube VOD, if you could please subscribe, that helps a ton. No particular theme here, we'll go get some decoration inspiration, see some creative designs. Let's start into this. We are starting with Nine Pence's Old Miss Vale Manor. It is nighttime here. It'll be nighttime during the tour today. We'll just have to deal with that. But this actually looks very bright here. So Nine Pence had previously invited me to their Moon Sugar Meadow, and they had this amazing custom structure, kind of like a chapel, kind of a meeting area too, with very interesting architectural designs on it. And so what they did with this build in their Old Missville Manor was that they made the town beneath the structure, because I guess they didn't have the item limits to do it at all in the Moon Sugar Meadow. So here we have a custom town, a little funky, a little funky with the architecture, um, but that's kind of Nine Pence's style. It's getting really creative and, and more interesting with it. So um, we'll go and enjoy this. And so if you maybe saw this a couple weeks ago, you, you might remember it. I think I actually included it part of the thumbnail as well. Um, it was an amazing, amazing build. Um, I loved, loved the design of it, and you see a little bit of it here, and then we'll see the town beneath it now. So, here we go, here we go. So, we have a whole busy town. So, I could just imagine this being in the Moon Sugar Meadow as well. Um, I love how bright everything is. A lot of color. A lot of, uh, Nine Pence is always amazing with picking out the right, proper plants for everything. Good height, good color balance. We have... I see, I see that there are, like, things behind the windows... Kind of fun, so I see I can, can barely see them here. I see an ogrim back there, right? The crows, maybe they're just citizens of this town, maybe a bit of an eclectic place. Maybe explains why everything's kind of like a little, a little skewampus, a little, a little askew, but fun, uh, super fun. Love the design on everything. Hey, purple master hero with the sun. Thank you. Hello, Jay Hart. Thank you, thank you. Hello, back at yeah, super appreciate the support, especially right now. Um, love the designs on these walls, uh, using, it looks like they use some of the animal cages to kind of add just a little bit of a texture for the windows. Really creative, especially considering those have been out for a while. Good use of the mirrors, good use of the Argonian closet, uh, wardrobes or something like that. Good woven texture on that. And we have shops have a bit of a restaurant here with outdoor seating. And then, yeah, it looks like we have like a <laughs> drinking establishment. A big, a big tower of goblets. I like that, I like that a lot. Very active design to it, very fun. And then, more up above. I think these are kind of just like facades. I don't think these doors actually go anywhere. Oh, the little turbo is, oh, they're cute. We had seen this before, we actually saw that lizard in the previous build, and so I guess it gets around here. Can I go into any of these? I think they're all blocked off. Okay, and then we can just see more of the structure. The, the custom build, custom build. Good detail. I know, I know, I know. New uh, port colas from Deadlands as well. Really blocks us off well. Feels very protective. Um, barred and metal. And then more establishments over this way. Ooh, they did a really good job of layering that window so you can actually see through it a little bit. Like a lot of just crazy little subtle designs going on with this place. And the stable looking good. Custom stable here. Big custom structure. Okay, and that's pretty well it. So, an interesting town. Very bright. Everything has been built from scratch here. Uh, including all, all the turrets and everything. All the walls, all the all the ground here. It's all been added. Starting from nothing. Making a custom town. And kind of tying it together with a previous build that they had. Oh, you had made a custom portcullis, probably using those uh, clockwork scavenged beams, right? The the support beams. 
Yeah, I, I've seen people use those before. Yeah, it'll save you a bunch of item slots using this new one. Um, yeah, that's one good thing about the new furnishings that they've been adding, especially the structural ones, is that, wow, they really help you manage your inventory space better. Um, I like how there's like the new pennants from Fargrave being added here to uh, more of a festive look with those. You know, more new furnishings, more pennants up above as well. Colorful, kind of tied together with the stained glass. Okay, and that will... I think that will pretty well do it. Let's uh, continue along. Love Ninepence. I have one more from Ninepence. Something different. Metal flagpole that looks like a spear. Oh, using those... Oh, yeah, those are old school. Old school. <laughs> okay, Ninepence. Very mechanically minded. I've seen several of... Their custom... Like trains, planes, and automobiles. Um, we have another one. Actually, they had an amazing exhibit, like a Forbidden Bazaar, a couple weeks back. That was super, super fun. Um, yeah, that would be in my previous housing hike on on the channel here. Soul Searcher with a follow. Thank you. I appreciate that. Okay, so Nine Pence has something out on the lake. What did they call this? They called it a. <laughs> They're very humble. They called it a flying boat kind of spaceship thing. <laughs> I'll go see what their flying boat kind of spaceship thing is about. Okay, fun, fun, fun. Oh, we have a little loon out here, appropriate for the... appropriate for the snowy environment. We have a little... well, I see the giant boat thingy in the background, but I see this little buggy. Like a little ice buggy. I love it, I love it. Can I sit in it? Oh, I can't sit in it. I can climb on it, though. I love it, I love it. Yeah, uh, Nine Pence is real, just has a, I don't know, good eye for these sorts of mechanical builds. Is that going to work very well? Well, that, that nearly works. It nearly works. <laughs> With the little controls. Rev it up. Just how do you use, like, various clockwork and dwarven furnishings that all have this metal texture on it, and how do you make it into something that you could imagine actually running? with an engine and, and with the axles and everything and with the headlights and all, all, all the trimmings that you need to actually make this work. Um, yeah, really, really fun. I can imagine zipping around on the ice in this. Really fun, really fun. Ship and buggy from Prometheus. Oh yeah, that, that's, um, that's a cool way of doing this too. It's like you have like the ship and then like, well, what do you do to actually go explore the area? Um, and Nine Pence has done spaceships before too, which is kind of what this is. We do have, I believe this is the front of the ship. I believe it is <laughs> firing upon something. What is it firing upon? I don't know. Um, good use of a lot of these new Deadlands structural furnishings. There's like a archway in there, I think, as well as well, several, several pieces from the achievement vendor from Fargrave. You can see the, the red kind of Daedric lettering in throughout that is indicative of that. There is also custom... Uh, there's craftable Deadland style furnishings as well. So these actually make this pretty large. I think it helps with the size of it. I like the layering here with the beacon towers. With the light coming off of them and then kind of layering these dwarven pipes in there as well. Just adds a little bit of texture. Um, contrast with it. That looks really good. And then, well, let me explore the outside of it. It's kind of a boat. It's kind of a boat. Yeah, it's kind of a boat shape to it. Kind of has that nice kind of curved bottom to it. Using the comets and everything for the thrusters. This is awesome. This is super awesome. I like how we can kind of see like an energy core going on. It's more spaceship-like. Measure yeah, they're, these are definitely just scientific instruments on the front, right? It's always just they're shooting some science out, <laughs> whatever that looks like. I like these lights on the side too. Uh, these are actually craftable metal Deadlands furnishings, and they light up kind of like they're hot. In this case, they just work really well, nearly like nearly like racing stripes. <laughs> Really fun, really fun. Ooh, custom structure on the back. Love that, love that. I 
bit of a dwarven vibe to it too, especially with the spiders attached to it. And I think we can get in inside of this as well. It's kind of resting on the ice. Let's not be too heavy, or maybe the ice is just that thick. Makes sense. I don't think my brain even works in a way to design something like this. As you said, it looks functional. Yeah, that's that's what's crazy about these sorts of builds. It's just, well, you know, thinking about all of these details to actually make it work. Like, even here, we have these Centurion pieces. You can imagine that, you know, like being able to fold back up and close back in. It's not just like there's a ramp there, it's adding just a couple extra details there that make it feel like, oh yeah, that, that makes sense to have it that way. Um, not that you have to go crazy with the details, but just a few things here and there. This really, really speaks a lot to um, the, the creativity on this and the bit of a cleverness to it. Okay, getting inside. Can I get through here? Okay, there we go. We have the interior as well, with everything that you need. So we have, like, monitors. Great use of those crystals from Cold Harbor. Antiquity. Oh, well, there's more to explore here, too. We have a bit of a bed. Looks pretty comfortable, even though the rest of everything is so metal and cold looking. At least you can relax on the bed. Oh, you love the stairs. Yeah, the stairs are neat too. Um, they really layer that in well. I like how it's filled in in between. There's more, there's more. Okay, we can clean up. Very nice and cozy, tight um, shower area. <laughs> Seems like it doubles as a toilet and a, and a sink here, too. Don't have a lot of space for these sorts of amenities. Ever watch, like, um, astronauts and, like, all their processes for, like, using their bathroom or, like, making a meal or things like that? And it's always so, it's so weird, all the things, all the extra steps that you have to go through. To keep everything nice and clean and 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 everything like that, I guess it's easier to take that for granted. And down down below here, oh, we have like all these instruments. Oh, fun, fun, fun! Yeah, so we'll navigate the stars with this older RV shower standing next to the toilet. <laughs> yeah, the antiquity everyone has too many of. I know, I know. That's the thing. You get those from the harvesting nodes in Hollow City. You get way too many of them. I love how active this is. Can okay, I get in here? Ooh. I just want to just, like, hop in there. I don't know if I can very well. Ooh. 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 I'm a little too... <laughs> I think I'm stuck. This is fine. I can pretend to be the, the ship's captain here. Okay, we can see what we're shooting our science at. Perfect. And we can navigate, and we can pull levers and everything. Look outside. Perfect, perfect. And... Oh, wait. I'm unstuck. Oh, I'm, I'm unstuck. Okay, good. <laughs> Go and relax. It's your bow in space. Oh, yeah, these... They might be the... They might be the aliens. Or whatever. They're the crew. Your boa crew. Okay. And that will, that will do it for that. So we'll continue along. Thank you, Nine Pence, with the two homes today. Hope I didn't miss too much. Next up from O Wiggy, E Wig, O Wige. I don't know quite actually. O Wiggy. We'll go with the E Wiggy. Halt, a lunar champion. They said that this is their f first finished, finished home. First, first stab at ha housing here. We'll see what they've done with it. Oh, Hall of Lunar Champion. Pretty fun home that you can earn by doing the main storyline from elsewhere. 
Now, this is totally different. The entirety of this has been replaced with Leowin structural pieces, including the stairway. Normally, when you port into the hall in your champion, you just kind of are there, and everything's been changed here. I love the music box playing. Yeah, we're in like a... This doesn't feel like the Hall of the Lunar Champion at all. Um, amazing what all these structural... You know, the, the floors and the wainscoted walls and everything... Could do a lot with them. Um, so let's go and explore this place. A little bit of a tricky room to decorate as well, just because it has those big support columns in it, as well as like the, the big lunar reflector in the top. So we'll see if they kind of built around that all, or if they incorporated it, or maybe just the way that they have the room structured here, it won't be much of an issue. So we have a bit of a storage area. Maybe travelers come through here? Maybe giving a bit of like a hotel vibe? We'll see, we'll see. Very bright in here. It doesn't take all that many lights to really bright this, brighten this place up either. We have a little cat. So we have a lot of cats. I see this. <laughs> I see this. A loot room. Go loot everything. Maybe it's a hotel for cats. They seem to own the place here. We have a Hunter's Lodge vibe to it, too. Okay, really beautiful. Love the paintings and everything. Oh, a little bit of a custom food tray here. I like that. So they kind of sunk that eel platter into this serving platter, and then they added the Merkmeyer berries, as well as the bread in there. A bit of a custom way of doing that. That's clever. Yeah, that's, that's it. I always take this for granted, which is, that's what I love about housing in ESO so much, is that you can overlap things, and you can just use parts of furnishings, uh, as long as you're kind of just layering everything in, and so you can come up with all sorts of custom, creative, crazy designs, um, cobble things together however you want. Oh, there's all these... <laughs> I'm not making... Make, making sure I'm not missing rooms. We have a bit of an experimentation room. It looks friendly, right? We're supposed to go fight you. It's been summoned. No, we have like an alchemy lab. That's actually a pretty clean alchemy place. I like it a lot. Using the vampiric furnishing there to store all your bottles. Beautiful, beautiful mixing ingredients together. I really like how they have the mushrooms displayed here. Because the mushrooms are actually bigger than that. They're, they're these clusters, and so you have to be kind of careful with how you actually place those so you can actually see them properly like that. Looks awesome. Looks awesome. Looks like we can go and pick our fresh ingredients here. Make some custom potions. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Really fun to see people using the new Fargrave terrariums and all that, or the new furnishings that they added with the latest Witches Festival, like the the bottles of liquids. Fit perfectly here in a nice clean alchemy lab. Cool, amazing first time. I know, I know. Chef Cookie says, oh my gosh, my first build looked like a shack. This is beautiful. <laughs> I know. I think sometimes people... Uh, go, like, all in on their first home. I, you can do it however you want, right? So you can really, um, you know, take a stab at it, just kind of learn along the way. Or be like, I need it to be perfect from the get-go. <laughs> Custom windows and everything. New armory station. It's very full. It feels like you go and change up here. Change your appearance. Take a good look at yourself. Oh, but did they stick little forks in here? <laughs> they think they stuck. They stuck these tiny little furnishings in there just so we can be like knit knitting. Oh, oh, what a beautiful bathroom! I love the colors on it. Was that Go gold, golden green, golden green and white? Very clean feel to it. But the green adds a bit of this more natural feel to it. It's kind of like a more a perfumey type of a feel. Very clean. Um, yeah, using these Markarth doors, I believe is what they are. Just sinking those slightly into the wall so that you get just that nice gilded uh, 
offset to it, and then you don't have the just wall of gold. You have just this nice, nice little filigree. <laughs> um, is that the right word? Probably not. That's okay. Anyway, I love how the hawk moth cabbage is kind of tied the gold together as well. Or even this, this, this is kind of like a pulls everything together with a color palette. Lovely Debella carpet. Um, yeah, amazing. And we have the nice fresh water here. Look how clean this all looks too. Go take a bath and just soak here forever. Um, love this bathroom. Love, 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 love. Um, yeah, the texture on the walls. Yeah, that's kind of an important thing too. A lot of times with furnishings is like something might look flat but really there's usually a couple of layers going on and so if you just sync things into the perfect pixel then you can isolate those textures and then things can really pop like they do right here and i think it looks amazing continuing over this way yeah looking looking awesome hydration good idea Let me take a look at the sink and everything here An elegance to this. Beautiful, beautiful. Fountains are great too. Yeah, layering those in there too. I'm not... They might have used a table. A, a, a table with a metal top and flipped it upside. Otherwise, I don't know how the texture would have isolated so well. Uh, yeah, but it definitely matches everything here. So using Eleanor Marble for the white. Using the Mark... Markarth polished brass furnishings for the gold. Oh, even getting just a little, just a little, well, that's, that's a good little, dis, little trick there. Just a little, tiny, little trim up there. Using the edges of the Markarth furnishings. That really, yeah, that's, that's a good detail. Oh, that's funny. We have these tower beacons uh what are they called i always forget the exact name beacon of tower zero beacon of tower zero antiquity furnishings most people like the light effect going on with those kind of like we had seen with the previous ship with the science that was shooting out um wow they really just match the marble here very well don't they and then it's like we have this custom shelving unit and it's super super unique how awesome is that I love this bathroom. <laughs> just, I'm just digging it so so much. Um, crazy that the texture color matches like that. Yeah, it, it works so well. Okay, well that's creative views. I think that's kind of a funny thing that happens a lot of times too, is people will get like a rare antiquity or something and you want to use it in all its glory, right? Well, maybe it'll look more impressive if you use it in a creative fashion instead of just putting it on display. Um, anyway, there was no wrong way of going about it, but I, I love the variety. That was just our first house, too. And then we have a library. Love those levitating crystals in there. A very magical feel to this. I remember Russian Asgard. Uh, one of my favorite decorators. Um, had something similar to this with the stone husk. Maybe just remember the, the stone husk. This is definitely different though, because these crystals didn't even exist back then. Love the magical look to it. Definitely gives it a kind of like an aquarium feel to it. Kind of a living painting, like a window there. It's magical. I'm not entirely sure what it's supposed to be in the background, but it certainly looks awesome. <laughs> what, 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 what would you describe this as? Because it's so magical, and all the books, oh, half the books are moving too, so they got the special books. Looks like an iris. Yeah, it's kind of like a window. A little subtle moody lighting going on with this too. A smart TV? It could just be a TV. Something like that. 
I definitely like how all the blues and the purples really go well together, in any case. <laughs> okay, okay. Very magical, very magical. And I think that might about do it. So they just used the interior of the Hall of the Lunar Champion. They didn't use the side rooms at all. Good way of preserving their item caps um, and having this be super high density and super, 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 super fun. And looking forward to more from Iwiggy. This was just their first home and they did such an amazing job with it. Okay. And we'll keep moving along. A couple more homes to tour today. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Very nice, I know, I know. Mogwai, Mogwai. Funny thing is, I had gone to Mogwai's Cold Harbor Surreal Estate a couple weeks back, and that was like their first big build that they said they had done too, so I'm excited to see what they've done with this next one. You want that bathroom? I know. <laughs> so, a lot of good design on that. Um, I have a little bit of a backstory on this one. Um, okay, okay. Yeah, they had a really nice home for the modern woman in their Cold Harbor real estate, which was really nice. Uh, they have something a little different here um, today. They say that their character is an architect, and they had to make a home for a necromancer. And they wanted something to have all their parties after all the years they've been living, and they wanted a more modern but still dark house. So Magwai was tasked with making a home for a necromancer, an old one, to have parties. <laughs> and he didn't want a garden because he didn't have very green hands, but a large outdoor area was okay. He didn't want a toilet because apparently monsters don't use toilets. Hmm, I wonder what that's about. And then he, um, and the necro has let us in for the first time in many, many, many years and will welcome us in. Okay, okay, so we have a home for a necro which has been designed by a more modern architect. That's kind of the feel here. <laughs> so, we'll go see. What, what did Mogwai put in here to make this Necro happy? Oh, we have like a lovely, a lovely swing. How fun is that? Oh, wait, that's not fun at all. Um, <laughs> um, we have all these terrifying things for a Necromancer. Graveyards. Did you did you have to did they provide all the graves and the corpses here? Or did you go and find your own Mogwai? Are you that dedicated as an architect? You have to please your clients. Go make some fresh corpses. <laughs> or maybe they've been that busy. This was this was nice and empty when you first made it. They've been a little busy. Nice and sinister. Oh yeah. Oh, I like what they did with the dirt here. How did you... What did you use for the dirt there, with the hand poking out? You found them? <laughs> okay. You didn't provide the corpses. Ne Necromancer had to do the work. Definitely love all the Harrowstorm stained glass window antiquities here. Oh, I think you're using some of the new... At least a couple of the new furnishings from the Fargrave Home Goods vendor, right? These little... These little... Rambles with little spots of red in them, I think, are the new ones. Some of these are the... Some of these are from Stone Falls as well. Hungus Vendor. Bones everywhere! Bones everywhere! And the new Deadlands furnishings. They just definitely have this stark, black, cold feel to it, which is perfect for Necro. So using these giant Deadlands walls and the stairs and everything, the archways here... A doorway. A door. Um, we can go and see what's inside the home for the Necro. Good courtyard here. <laughs> if your client is a monster, you do what the client is telling without hesitation, right? Well, maybe that's the point. You don't want to get on the bad side of the monster. Okay, getting in here. Ooh, I like how the stained glass windows are all lit up right now, too. Kind of lucky on that front. Ooh, I like the modern hanging lights here. That's... It's a clever look with the salt lamps in there with the red look, red light. We have ribs. Well, question where they came from. I like how your serving platter is a little, a little different too. Looks more like a gravestone that way. Oh, wait, <laughs> use, use gravestones to hang all the vases up. That's a 
clever little detail, too. It's very subtle. They look nice in any case. <laughs> oh, funny. And we have a lovely throne. Can I sit here? I can. Oh, perfect. Nice seat of power. Using multiple of those new Craglorn luxury furnishings in the background, I believe is what they are. Really, really fun. The ossuary. Skulls up there. I see doors on either side, too. Okay, I'll have to go explore a bit. Cobwebs really just fit in the feel here. New Deadlands floors here being used for the walls. Very dark feel to it. Apparently the Necromancer likes popcorn. <laughs> love that, love that. Clever detail. He, he sunk a couple of them into the back wall too, like the popcorn is falling down. I love that, I love that. I'd seen somebody do that before. I think that was, again, okay, Russian Asgard had a Guar carnival with the popcorn makers, but uh, this is a little different because you can see the back of it. A little platforms for serving food, and we have drinks and everything. Fun, fun, fun. Grave shelving. <laughs> yeah, I know, going with a lot of these darker elements, right? Oh, we have a private area. Private area, can I sneak through? Sneaking through, apparently. No rope can hold me. We have, oh, everything for a modern necro. We have, must have friends. Comes and screens private movies and everything. Cool, cool. What, what monster feature are we watching tonight? Cool, a little private theater. With red carpet and everything. Nice vampiric feel to it. Love this. I know, I know. Love how private it is, too. With the, with the skeleton attendant, making sure only the VIPs go in. Well, there's a couple, well, a couple side rooms. Keep checking everything out here. A bit more of a functional crafting room. It's a little isolated. Probably not a feature of the house. But a lot of those nice crafting stations and bakers and, and, and assistants that you can put in your home so you can actually use it very well. I like the planter in here too. Bringing in some of the plants from the courtyard in here. A little bit more on display. Everything's so red and black here, gosh. And going up. I suppose we haven't seen where the Necro lives. It's just more like a, a bit of a banquet hall and a theater. What else do they have going on in their home? It's more of like what you would show the guests. Ooh, Necro. Very old. Must have read a lot over the years. Studying things. Preserving their power. Maybe writing a lot. <laughs> have a private bar up here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fun, fun, fun. We have a mixologist. We have... This is pretty... Oh, we even have a menu here. That's fun. That's super fun. Can I get back there? I want to go see the details. Oh, wait. I can. I'm not going to fall to my death if I go back here. I might. Hope not. Okay, so we have all these... Uh, vampiric furnishings which were dropping from the witches festival. It's fun to see that they were able to use multiple of them. Get a lovely, lovely drink going. Okay. What's the menu made from? It's using a couple of the... That's actually a good question. Let me see. Truth in Sequence books. Lore books. Just a couple of them together. Nice propped open menu. <laughs> the audience becomes a feast. Oh, the movie might be Dracula, dead and loving it. <laughs> Again, bringing some of those black and red plants from the courtyard inside as well. Can sit here. Oh, it's a far. Oh, it's new far grave furnishings. Oh no 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 no. These were the uh, Aliad benches from the luxury vendor a couple weeks ago. Needic Needic altar. 
the needs, the needs from Crack Warden. Okay, yeah, love love the custom planter going on with that. Very clever, very clever. Okay, and I think that may about wait, one room. Important room, the bedroom, bedroom. Ooh, double wide bed. I like it, I like it. Can I sleep here? I'm gonna sleep here. <laughs> sleep like a necro. There you go. <laughs> a lot of storage. I wonder if they have any skeletons in there. I imagine a couple. Fancy clothes. Whatever you need. Maybe a couple special things. That's a lot, a lot of storage, man. Jealous of the closet space here. Um, open space. Custom bed frame, too. Again, using more of these Deadland structural furnishings just to frame that very well. Really tying it all together with all the, the dark black obsidian look with it. Even more storage under the bed. <laughs> In case they didn't have enough. Everything's so clean, though. Sleep like a necro is a great mattress tagline. Mogwai says you can look inside the popcorn can. There's even popcorn being made. I thought I thought I did. Uh, no, let me go back. Uh, look above the stairs. Oh, above above the stairs. Oh, oh, there we go. There we go. <laughs> we have a little a, a little private room up there. Can see a couple guests. Maybe enjoy that room. Enjoy might not be the right word. <laughs> okay. no, that's funny, that's funny. Uh, what did I miss with the popcorn? I like the popcorn. Yeah, I saw, I saw the popcorn bubbling over and falling down. It's, it's, it's super nice. Unnaturally clean. Yeah, all things considered, all things considered. We're a little, a little obsessed. Okay, we'll wait for the feast to start. I made sure to say to arrive for the feast in time. Okay, here we go. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Mogwai. Fun home for a necro. I think he did a good job designing it. Yeah, I love how you've used a lot of these new structural furnishings, even for the custom table here. Okay, last up. Levathi said I could go to both of their homes today. I said originally to go to one or the other based off the time of day, but we'll go to both today. So here we go. Levathi has a... He said this is best in the morning. Don't have control over that, but they have a sulfur habitat. We'll see what that means. I remember Levathi when... when Deadlands launched, was like the very, very first person to get the fishing achievement. They got within like a couple of hours of the uh, update going live. <laughs> crazy. I was able to get to, but you get this lovely sulfur pool. Well, I guess it's just, this is just it. It's just, Levathi just wanted me to come and say hi to all the critters. Hi, hi everybody. And I think that's it. Hi Levathi. It's good to see you and your growing family. Oh no, there's 700 items in here. <laughs> throw, throw the cherry blossoms at me. No, no, no. We'll, um, we'll go out on the lake. Oh, what is this? This doesn't look like the Stillwater's Lake. Where's the ice? Oh, you've used some of these new um, plants from Fargrave Home Goods Vendor. I, I, they have these little, little pockets of purple in them. Beautiful. Where is my frozen ice lake? It just looks wow. You really went at this with the sulfur pools. You are not joking. Oh, you even used a mermaid statue back there. It's like a geyser. A little cooler though, enough that I can stand in it without boiling to death, which is which is a nice consideration. Um, look at this amazing glade. This is crazy. It. Uh, uh, and it's in the Stillwater, so we have the nice Aurora going on with it all, too. It's even more magical. 
Uh, very deep. Oh, yeah, no, I know. Um, I'm not quite sure what to make of this. It's so unique. It's it's so different. I almost enjoy looking at it for a bit. <laughs> it's so good. Um, totally, totally, totally redone. Oh, he started to move all the critters about. Oh, oh, wait, where's Griffin? I have critters too. Join me, Griffin. So basically, using the sulfur pools as the ground, and then filling it in with a lot of plants in between. We have candleflies that have been attracted to this place. A lot of plants growing in between. Flowers, butterflies, everything that you might expect. Oh, we have <laughs> Indrix just kind of chilling in the water there. Oh, this is too fun. Too fun. All the critters from before. She, she moved them with the HT, I think. Totally transformed. Oh, wait. We even have more out here. A little bit of like a campsite. Seems like our trousers got wet in the sofa pools. Maybe drying those off. Maybe taking them off before we go into the sofa pools. Probably a smarter way of doing it. Getting by here. Seems like we have some saws and everything. Maybe cutting down trees and everything as we need to keep the fire going. Very private place here. How can I get it up in here? Hoppy hoppy. I like how there's a lot of dead wood mixed into the by Griffin. Uh mixed in <laughs> mixed into the forest. Um those are from the Deadlands Home Goods vendor in Fargrave as well. I'm a bit in awe of this, or I totally am in awe of this place. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to contemplate, like, how you came up with such a cool design for it. Maybe that's the thing, is just thinking a little differently, because Levathi does a, has previously done so much with uh, these more natural jart looks. Happy, this is a place for small ones to dance and jart raise. <laughs> small... Yeah, it seems, seems like a nice place for them to dance and rave. There you go. All the fun. Very active geyser. I probably shouldn't get too close to it. Yeah, so just really isolating this place too. So that that's a another cool thing that Levathi did with this is putting the entirety of the forest around it. It just makes this feel so secluded, so safe, so private. Um, Fear of fusion with the Vala. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate that. Um... And with the sulfur pools, they just look really nice with all the water. You can imagine water kind of trickling between them all. It's a happy, peaceful place. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. I, I guess that's the difference. Lots of times it's about, like, a house. Like, you make a structure, or you fill in a structure. This is about making an environment. And... Not a lot of people tackle that, so I, I, I super, super appreciate Levathi with this approach to housing, which is totally different and totally lovely, and I want to see more like this. <laughs> Roast beef. <laughs> oh, I know, I know. Um, I don't know what else good to say about it, Levathi. I, I probably could just stay here, have more words come to mind. So this is why Levathi went hard on getting the achievement for the uh, Deadlands Fishing Angler. Not very good at creating these environment types of things. Special talent on that. I love just how like totally immersive it is. Like I can't go anywhere or look in any direction without it just feeling like I'm here. Like, I, f I feel like I'm, I'm in this forest. 
And I also know I can't stay here forever, even though it might might feel fun. Okay. Absolute master builder. Sixty. There's 62 sulfur pools in here, Lavathi says. I... I wouldn't have guessed it was that high, but now that I'm looking at it, yeah, I see that. I definitely see that. <laughs> as one-tenth of the item limit just for the pools, and then filling it in with all the grasses and the flowers and everything. I love how balanced and somewhat random all of the plants are, too. Uh, that can be a challenge as well, so everything just kind of feels like this could be how things could grow in here. Um... You know, and, and like even mixing in like fallen down trees and everything like that. So it's just like making all these little changes. You have to have a, a broken tree here, like it split over, split in half and fell over. And uh, it's a little shocking how good this is. <laughs> That's all I can say. Uh, okay, um, well... This is Stillwater's Retreat, so normally this would be like the ice and everything. You don't even see any of that here. You do have the beautiful sky up above, though. Okay, well, I do have one final home. One final home from... Lavathi. And then that'll be our final home for today as well. It's going to be a Fantasy Bosmer home in their Jode's Embrace. Fantasy Bosmer Town. Okay. House is 10% sulfur pools. <laughs> I know, I know. The funny thing about this is they originally said that this was in their Dawn Shadow and they moved it. I guess, I don't know how they would have really done that. A lot of people have been here. I think people will really appreciate Lavathi's style. Get inspired by it. Okay, a Bosmer Town. Bosmer... Being the Wood Elves. Let's go check it out. Ooh, kind of like a bit like the round window or the round door here. Ooh, I like the chandeliers here, just a little bit more magical, the Reachmen chandeliers. Oh, I don't know where to go. We have sulfur pools again. As long as they're covered up, they don't look like nasty poisonous sulfur, right? So as long as you cover them up well, then it works just like nice, clean, fresh water. Well, I kind of want to go in here. Can I just go in here and chill? <laughs> go, go and relax for a bit. There we go. A little bit of a private bath area. Yeah, I'll just, yeah, I'll just enjoy this. Just... There we go. I got to soak. I didn't really get to soak in the previous place. This feels a little bit more quiet. But no, come on. All of Lavathi's builds going forward will just be progressively more and more sulfur pools until it's just nothing but sulfur pools. <laughs> no. Bosmer Town. Ooh, I love the windows. Using some Talvani furnishings. And then layering the windows in there. That's, that's beautiful. Oh, it opens up that way. Okay, they say go this way. Go this way. Into the little hobbit hole. I guess I'm, I'm making a comparison, but it's not really what it is. But uh, I, I love how they framed it, and then they just use the top of the door, and it makes it this nice circle. Okay, going into the little Bosmer home. So cozy in here. They really value the books and the drinks. <laughs> That's all good. A very peaceful look. I like how you have the character pathing, the little cat goes between sitting on the bench, climbing on the bed, looking at the fireplace. It's a very peaceful feel to this. I'm part of a larger town, too. <laughs> okay, and going back out. I'll take a look at this round wind or the round door again. Yeah, look how fun that is. Ooh, all the pennants and everything. Feels like a party town. 
Using banners, using the Hakashi lights as well. Using the small everlasting waterfalls from Somerset flowing into the Silver Pools. So again, water adds a lot to this. I see the candleflies flickering a lot as well. There's a lot of motion in here, a lot of liveliness to everything. I see a lot of house guests. Have an audience. I see, I see, Levathi has an audience. Oh, there's even more, there's more buildings. Well, I, I will go watch Levathi perform here. We're only using a lot of those Reachman chandeliers, just with the, with the globes on them. Uh, a little bit more magical, kind of like this, these fruits. Um, perfect for the forest feel here. Great performance from Levathi. Perfect, perfect. I know that there's all these little doors. I don't know where all to go. I guess I'll just go door by door. And hope I don't get too lost. Can I go in them? Maybe some of them aren't supposed to be got into. I'll go into a bank of some sort. Something like a bank. Aha, we have a zubby, the banker. Perfect. <laughs> I'd like to make a withdrawal. <laughs> the zubby says, no withdrawal, only deposit. <laughs> like, okay. <laughs> um, I'll wait here. Open all the doors? I, I, they might not all be openable. A cute little banker. I'll go, I'll go where the Levathi goes so I don't get too lost here. Oh no, I lost her. I'll go get a drink. Well, oh no, you are getting drinks. Perfect. Lots to drink. As if we didn't have enough in the private residence. <laughs> Sloppy wants your gold. I know, I know. Oh, 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 I totally missed it. Oh, no, no, no. I missed it. I missed, I missed the magic. We're, we're getting some, um, uh, what are they called? The shots with the fire on them. There we go. We're getting fancy drinks here. Setting out a blaze. Gotta be careful with the fuzz here. <laughs> flaming shot. Yeah, we got flaming shots here. Oh no, it seems like it spilled out a little bit. Gonna burn down the establishment. No, that's fun. That's fun. Can I drink one? Don't go drink one. Go grab it. I need a grab. <laughs> I want that one. <laughs> flaming shots. Flaming shots. That's pretty funny. I like it. We'll just leave them flaming. I, I guess the, the bartender will clean it up. Avathi, not only master in housing, master of boozing. <laughs> maybe, maybe. Now we have, this is marked. Maybe it's where the butcher lives. That's why it has a knife there, right? Oh, they're knocking. Um, well, I'm just gonna burst in. Oh, it's locked? Maybe they were marked. Well, that one's locked. I, I don't want to know what's going on in there. But this one looks nice. Let's go Let's go in here. A little small one down there. Get on your level. A little cute bookcase. I like how it's brought down a little bit. Yeah, using the big outer bookcases, but just using a couple of the top shelves of it. Makes it fit a little bit better in a smaller home. Is there a door? Is there a little secret? Secret? Oh, no. That's okay. Maybe where the bathroom is. Okay, and... Levathi is dancing. I'm gonna guess that might mean I've seen about everything. Can I dance here too? Wait, no, you disappeared. Wait, oh, oh, there's totally things. Ooh, oh, fun. We actually have a right proper bath area here. I have like a hot tub. We have a shower over this way. I'll, I'll shower off first. <laughs> Just use like a million of the... Oh, they have a couple of the new ones. They have those Leia wind fountains that actually have multiple things dripping off of them. It could be the Alinor one. 
I'm gonna guess it's a Leia win one, though. And you go and sit here and enjoy the pool. Enjoy the bubbles. Perfect, perfect. Okay. There's a little bit of moody lighting embedded in here. Just a little bit of blue light. And... Anything else, Slavathi? That's it. The cherry blossoms indicate we're done. Oh, let me just kind of look at this the, the town structure here a little bit too, with all the windows and everything. I love, I love the look of this. As you imagine, these are different places where the people live, or maybe some businesses. Love all the windows with the uh, with the Tabani furnishings in the front, just adding that kind of gnarly look to it. Oh, they are the Leyland ones. Okay, great. And something about dancing. I, I like the idea of dancing up here. Can I dance up here? Do I have much to dance? I don't have very many dances unlocked. I'll dance Bosmer. That seems to be the most appropriate one, right? There we go. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, and we'll wrap up here um, for the YouTube VOD. That will do it. And then I do have a couple other things, big things going on with the stream afterwards. So stick around if you're watching on the live stream. Um, do some giveaways, and I have some crates open. I have some other things to do, too. It should be fun. Um, but thank you, everybody. Thank you, Levathi, here for the two homes. Love the Silver Pools. Love the Bosmer Town. And we had started with Nine Pence's Old Missville Manor with the tedious city street underneath the architectural build from the previous week. We had uh, Nine Pence had the Stillwater's Retreat with a flying boat kind of spaceship thing. Super, super creative. And we went to Iwiggy's Hall of the Lunar Champion, their first finished home, and just full of the wainscoted walls, super custom structure inside. Love that. We went to Mogwai's Earthier Cavern with a, with a necro home full of well, more modern elements, but lovely, lovely red and black design, very cold feel to it. Um, very lovely architecture on that. So thank you, everybody. Thank you, everybody. I'll get screenshots for these homes and put them up on my website, spicyeconomics.com. Thousands of pictures of ESO housing if you want some in inspiration. And you know, if you want to support the channel, any support will help. A subscription on YouTube is free, so go ahead and do that as well. And then that'll do it. We'll continue to do tours like this. This was on Saturday. I'm now doing um, EU tours on Saturday at 1 p.m. Eastern Time at twitch.tv slash JR Ellis. NA tours are still at 6.30 p.m. on Fridays, so that'll just help balance things out a little bit better. So thank you, everybody. Have fun with housing. Have fun with ESO, and stay spicy. Moo.